All right, we're going to practice some division here. I'm going to use semantic cues of ears because ears always come in twos unless something bad happens. So to make a whole pair, two to make a whole. So let's start with six ears in here. Okay, so this is six. I'm gonna set up the corresponding division problem. It takes two to make a whole and we have six. All right, how many whole pairs of ears can we make? Well, one pair, two pairs, And you're going to stack these up above because that's where the quotient goes. So looking at the division problem, we're trying to make twos out of the six. How many pairs of ears are there? There are three. And how many ears did it take to make those three pairs? Well, it took six. To generate that number, three times two is six. That's what we took out of this parts box and we take them out and there are no ears remaining. Now let's look at a similar problem. Instead of six ears, let's have seven. So perhaps we have a bunch of Mr. Potato Heads that we're about to complete here, and we're gonna put ears on. We got seven in the parts box here. Okay, again, it's seven divided by two is what we're trying to do. It takes two ears to make a whole person or Mr. Potato Head. And we're going to set this problem up over here, 7 divided by 2. Okay, so we start. How many whole pairs of ears can we get? 1, 2, 3. That's all I can get in terms of whole pairs. So when we think about it, I have the same as the above, 3 whole pairs. How many ears did I take out of the parts box to make those whole people. Three times two, six ears. I took them out of the parts box to make the whole things. One ear remains. One ear, and it takes two to make a whole. So we have three and one half whole people. All right. Okay. Like we have one ear left inside the parts box, we are going to replicate that idea by putting a box around this one remaining ear. There's one ear remaining, and it takes two to make one whole person. So we have <clears throat> three and one half pairs of ears.